गुड आफ्टरनून आल ऑफ यू दिस इज शैलेजा आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी और अल्ट्रावायलेट विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी और यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वॉट इज मेड बाई स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज नथिंग बट द स्टडी ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल्स और अन एटम्स टाइप्स ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी देर आर मेनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी आर प्रेजेंट फर्स्ट वन इज द एब्सॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी नेम इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट्स द स्टडी ऑफ एब्सॉर्ब रेडिएशन बाई अ मॉलिक्यूल्स इन द एटम और ए मॉलिक्यूल एग्जाम्पल फॉर दट एब्सॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज द यू वी अल्ट्रा वैलिड विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इंफ्रारेड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी न्यूक्लियर मैग्नेटिक रेगुलेशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी कैलरीमेट्री एंड एटामिक एब्सॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड सेकेंड वन एमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी द रेडिएशन एमिटेड बाई ए मॉलिक्यूल कैन आल्सो बी स्टडी टू रिवील द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल दिस इज सेट टू बी एमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एग्जाम्पल फॉर दट एमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज द फ्लेम फोटोमेट्री एंड फ्लोरीमेट्री प्रिंसिपल ऑफ यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज द मेजर ऑफ रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ ए सैम्पल टू अल्ट्रा वायलेट एंड विजिबल रेंज ऑफ एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन इट इज मेनली कॉन्ड एस ए एलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी बिकॉज it uh, it tells about the electronic transitions in the molecules molecules have either non bonding electrons pi electrons or sigma electrons these electrons are absorbed uv radiations and undergo transitions from ground state to excited state these transitions can be studied by uv spectroscopy okay here sigma electrons sigma electrons are placed here and pi electrons non bonding electrons and pi star electrons and sigma star electrons sigma bonding the electrons which are involved in a sigma bond that are said to be sigma bonding electrons the electrons which are involved in the pi bonding that are said to be pi bonding electrons the electrons does not involve the sigma bond or pi bond that electrons are said to be non bonding electrons and the electrons pi star is the anti bonding electrons and sigma star is the anti bonding electrons there are mainly four types of electronic excitations are present first one is the sigma to sigma star transitions second one is the pi to pi star transitions and third one is the non bonding to sigma star transitions and fourth one is the non bonding to pi star transitions sigma to sigma star transitions and pi to pi star transitions are said to be bonding to anti bonding transitions and non bonding to sigma star transitions and non bonding to pi star transitions are said to be non bonding to anti bonding transitions there are mainly two types of transitions are present one is the bonding to anti bonding transitions and another one is the non bonding to anti bonding transitions first of all bonding to anti bonding transitions are again divided into two types that is the sigma to sigma star transitions and second one is the pi to pi star transitions and next non bonding to anti bonding transitions are again divided into two types one is the non bonding to sigma star transitions and another one is the non bonding to pi star transitions the electrons excited from the sigma bonding to sigma star anti bonding transitions that are said to be sigma to sigma star transitions here the electrons are here the electrons are jumped from the sigma bonding to sigma star transitions that are said to be sigma to sigma star transitions the energy gap of the sigma to sigma star transitions are very high and next that the electrons are excited towards to the pi to pi star transitions that are said to be pi to pi star transitions the electrons excited towards to the non bonding to sigma star transitions that are the non bonding to anti bonding transitions and next of all the electrons excited towards to the non bonding to pi star transitions that are said to be non bonding to anti bonding transitions first of all sigma to sigma star transitions sigma to sigma star transitions occurs in such compounds in which all the electrons are involved in the sigma bond there are no lone pair of electrons are present in the sigma to sigma star transitions example for the sigma to sigma star transitions are the simple saturated hydrocarbons for example methane methane shows the lambda maximum value 125 nanometers and ethane shows the lambda maximum value 135 nanometers the energy required for these transitions are very large the absorption band occurs in the far uv region that is the range of 125 to 135 nanometers and next we go for the pi to pi star transitions in pi to pi star transitions the electrons excited towards to the pi bonding to pi star anti bonding 
trans uh, pi to pi star non bonding electrons that are said to be pi to pi star transitions the absorbed compounds with unsaturated centers such as alkenes carbonyl compounds and aromatic example etc example for that the pi to pi star transitions are the simple ethylene that shows the lambda maximum value at 180 nanometers and 13 butadiene that shows the lambda maximum value 270 nanometers when conjugation increases lambda maximum values also increases uv absorption is directly proportional to the conjugation in ethylene only one double bond is present in 13 butadiene there are two double bonds are present that are in both are in the conjugation so the lambda maximum value in 13 butadiene is increases and next of all pi to pi star transitions gives more intense peaks because pi to pi star um, orbitals are situated in the same plane the jumping of electrons are very easy because the pi electrons and pi star bonding electrons are both are in the same plane probability of jumping of electrons takes place very easily next the electrons are excited to the non bonding to sigma star transitions that are said to be n to sigma star transitions and the electrons are excited from the non bonding to pi star transitions that are said to be n to pi star transitions and next chromophores chromophore is a color impacting agent the group or the functional group which is responsible for the characteristic absorption that are said to be chromophores literally chromophores are the color color impacting agents example for that chromophores are the simple nitro compounds nitro compounds nitroso compounds azo compounds azo amine compounds azoxy compounds carbonyl compounds and thio carbonyl compounds generally chromophores was considered as any system which is responsible for impacting color to the compounds these groups or these chromophores are responsible for the n2 pi star transitions or pi2 pi star transitions pi2 pi star transitions takes place very easily rather than the n2 pi star transitions why because pi and pi star orbitals are in the same plane but n non bonding and pi star orbitals are in different plane so jumping of electrons takes place in simple pi2 pi star transitions very easy and next if any the simple chromophore is conjugated with other the multiple chromophores are formed having a new absorption band will more intense and the longer wavelength that shows the strong bands chromophores which are conjugated with the uh, which are conjugated they gives the more intense peaks and gives the more absorption when the chromophores are in and the chromophore ka percentage increases the absorption of uv also increases chromophores are mainly divided into two types one is the independent chromophore another one is the dependent chromophore independent chromophore is a, a single chromophore which is responsible for the impacting color that are said to be independent chromophore example for that independent chromophores are the azo compounds nitro compounds and nitroso compounds and next of all we go for the dependent chromophore dependent chromophore there are more than one chromophore is required for impacting color compound example simple histone is a simple histone having only one ketone group that is the colorless when we included two ketonic groups that shows the yellow color we include three ketonic group that shows the beautiful orange color and next oxochromes an oxochrome is a substance that when attached to the chromophore which alters the lambda maximum values and increases the intensity of the absorption bands and also increases the uv absorption or increases the lambda lambda maximum values here in simple 13 butadiene methyl group is acts as a oxochrome here this is attached to the double bonded carbon this double bonded carbon extended to the another double bond here the conjugation is present the lambda maximum value increases up to 217 nanometers to 224 nanometers here also dimethylamine diethylamine that acts as a oxochrome here also the lambda maximum value increases from 228 nanometers to 307 nanometers next beer lambert's law beer lambert's law shows that a is equal to epsilon ca when the absorption is directly proportional to the concentration as well as the length path length of the path length of the tube and limitations of the limitations and deviations of the beer lambert's law in that that chart shows the ketoinal tautomerism fluorescent compounds and the solute and solvent from the complexes and deviations real deviations are instrumental deviations and the chemical deviations